Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Adriana. As you can see, I am not in the backyard today. I'm in the kitchen because I am going to do a smoothie for skin health. First of all, I wanna say thank you for those who are watching. I now have 30 subscribers. I'm super excited and happy that someone out here is actually watching me. So I hope you guys enjoy me gardening in containers and hopefully you get to garden in container as well. Also with the smoothies and the juices that I'm going to share for skin health, I really hope that you guys enjoy those so we can get some health benefits for your skin. You guys, once you start juicing every day or implementing a smoothie, you will see a change in your skin. Your skin will start to give you a glowing, radiant look. So it's so important to feed ourselves from the inside. So let's go to the backyard and grab some of those kales that I'm going to put in my smoothies. I'm going to add avocado and banana so it can give me that creamy consistency that I like. And I'm going to use water today. Sometimes I use um, juice that I make myself, like I cut up a pineapple or oranges and I squeeze it, but I don't have any of those right now, not enough to what I wanna make. Um, I could make it in another video though. Okay, I'm gonna go and grab some kale. You guys, it's so hot today, so please make sure you wear your sun protection factor every day, sunscreen, of at least 30. I'm gonna talk about that in another video. So it is really sunny. So I need to make sure that I'm covered with a hat. I left my glasses inside. I always wear my hat when I come out here because I don't like the sun to hit my face directly because I do use um, products that contain retinols and retinoids and I will talk about that and I do use like glycolic acids on my skin because I do have acneic and oily skin and that helps my skin to you know clear up but we'll talk about all of that in other videos I'm preparing those super excited um, so please always make sure you have a hat you do not want to be outdoors when you're using those products and you do not want to be without sunscreen that's always apply sunscreen 30 and above daily please guys always do that okay so the kale it's right here so let's grab some kale for the smoothie let's grab like maybe like two or three that should be a handful okay so here's the kale so let's go ahead and grab um three of these no you know what i think i'm gonna do two so this is a three gallon container if you're ever interested in growing your own kale and i have three kale plants in here they get along just fine they they have not given me any problem they're growing beautifully they're feeding me and i'm just having so much fun growing them so think about it and it's free of pesticides it's organic zero chemicals like you know exactly what's going in your food okay so let's go back to the kitchen and prepare the smoothie all right, you guys, I'm back in the kitchen. I wanted to show you what I use to make my smoothies and believe it or not, the Nutribullet. You guys, this is my favorite thing. I do not have a juicer, but I will put a juicer on my Christmas and birthday list. I have a December birthday, so it's one of those gifts as happy birthday, Merry Christmas. Hey, I will not be upset because I want a juicer for either my birthday or Christmas. So let's see who gives it to me. Let's see what family members gives me a juicer. <laughs> all right so I'm gonna grab a banana and I wanted to talk about a banana bananas do you see the brown little spots that means that this banana is ripening so the riper the banana the sweeter your juice or your smoothie is going to be so please do not add any sugar and if you must add something sweet to your juices try to add stevia try that out it's just so much healthier so that's another option especially if you have diabetes stevia it's diabetic friendly so okay let me grab a mason jar i love mason jars you guys i love these things also y'all want to laugh i also drink my smoothies and my juices in wine glasses <laughs> because i'm fancy like that sometimes you know we gotta treat yourself sometimes and i just think the wine glasses are so cute all right y'all i'm ready to make my smoothie so things that you need are a Nutribullet or a blender or whatever you have at home. The lovely kale that you guys saw me get from the backyard. You want a handful. So we grabbed two of those kales and it gave me exactly a handful. You're going to need a whole banana and half of an avocado. 
banana and avocado gives the smoothie the creamy consistency okay so grab the cup of your blender or if you have a home put your kale in it grab your whole banana and put it in the blender grab a spoon scoop your avocado in I used to live in Puerto Rico because I went to nursing school there and my backyard had avocado trees I had mango trees coconut banana trees you guys the avocados that I had in my backyard were like that big i have a picture i think i have a picture i'm gonna look for it they were so creamy so yummy so delicious i miss my avocado tree but that's okay i'll have my own avocado tree in the near future okay so let's grab some water and probably like one cup to like a cup and a half so let's blend this baby up time to pour into the mason jar that I love so much you guys mm, smells so good look at that and it's so pretty the green so remember the riper the banana the sweeter your smoothie or your juice is going to be so always have that in mind let's pour wow look at this so creamy just how i like it perfect consistency yes mm -hmm. mm. you guys so delicious you guys have got to try this mm. wow i'm having a moment <laughs> So let's go chill for a second so I can talk to you guys about the benefits of kale and avocado for skin health. All right, so kale is full of antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin K. It has something called carotenoids, which is the beta carotene, and that is turned into vitamin A. Did you know that vitamin A is a very important, it is the most important vitamin for our skin health? Look into it and you will find some wonderful information on vitamin A, but you also have to be careful with the consumption of vitamin A because it could also be very harmful. Another name for vitamin A is retinol, and retinol is very important to our skin health because it helps the skin maintain its youthful appearance. Retinol reduces wrinkles, prevents fine lines, firms your skin, improves on even skin tone, and speeds up cell turned over, which is exfoliation. Kale has vitamin C. It's known as ascorbic acid and is responsible for fighting free radicals that harm our skin, such as sun damage and pollution. If you're a person that has heart problems and you are taking beta blockers, you should be careful with, with the intake of potassium. Also, if you have kidney problems and if you're taking blood thinner. So when you're making your juices or your smoothies, please be careful with the intake of potassium. Okay, I just wanted to point that out. That's very important. And if you have any questions, please call your doctor or your nurse and they will further give you education on that matter. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the benefits of avocado for the skin. Avocado has vitamin E, which works along with vitamin A to build healthy skin cells. Avocado is a great source of fiber, which helps our body detoxify so we can have clear skin. Avocado also has calcium and avocado is known for being very hydrating to our skin. The information that I'm sharing with you guys comes from books, magazines, and articles. I like to read and I like to have the book in hand. I'm the type of person that I like to put little tabs on my books so I can go back to it when I need some information about it. And I like to highlight my information as well. Um, Dermoscope is a great magazine with articles about skin health along with um, Aesthetic and Spa. For example, I was talking to you guys about the um, benefits of avocado, so it's so much easier for me to go back to it and um, remind myself the benefits of it so I can make sure that I'm giving you guys the correct information. Every year I update myself on what's new in skincare. My other favorite book is Fighting Diseases with Food because it can tell you how to consume and prepare different foods for that specific condition. For example, I have acne and if you turn to acne, 
It talks about the different types of fruits and vegetables that can help you fight acne. And it shows you how to prepare something like, for instance, avocado is showing you here that you can make a creamy avocado pasta. So that's pretty cool. So that's why I like this book. Another book I really enjoy is the essential oils book because I love essential oils and I will talk about it, how to safely use them. Um, I am a licensed esthetician and my, the school I went to prepared me well in becoming an advanced esthetician, which gave me the title of medical esthetician. I finished with the associate's degree in natural health and, and along with that came certifications such as microdermabrasion, chemical peels, herbology, aromatherapy, which the essential oils comes in because I do make my own skincare products. So I'm super excited to share everything I know with you guys. I also have a bachelor's of nursing and nurses we have to read about nutrition a lot because we have to do a lot of patient education and nutrition is something that I really enjoy reading about. This is another book that I have it's called Simply Fresh and it gives you like meal plans, salads since I have a garden. Um, I like to look at the recipes that this book has and look speaking of kale i totally forgot this was here but look super kale salad so i love this book it's so colorful it also has like juicing recipes and meal plans so i wanted to show you guys the few books that i have on skincare so y'all can know where i'm getting my information from you guys this video is for educational purpose only i hope you guys like that information so let's drink up for skin health so those are some of the benefits that you can get from kale if you would like to read more into it you guys check your public library and check out a book on nutrition or find something online i am sure that you can find something nice or if you like articles if you like to research like me there's a lot of articles that you can find online as well you guys thank you for watching please share like and subscribe until next time happy smoothing <laughs> Bye guys.